Santa. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and the anger building up inside of me, like a hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. And there's just everyone standing around me at the entrance of the AV room. He stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um. What's going on? Without a word, I punched into the cardboard box. Is it like? Is that what Monokuma is talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What the fuck? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on! Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't t t take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I seen the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It was the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries on the brink of war. But both countries want peace and each commits to scaling their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is neither scales back their forces, and we both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of an invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of feels like, like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> they put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guards, you can just... What? What is this? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whatever, whoever behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everyone out of our system. Everything out of our system, sorry. <laughs> Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's your problem? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on your shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I 
hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go and do whatever you think you have to do? We don't really have to stick together around... We don't really have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. What was in your video, Kyoko? Well... Why should I tell you? What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn! But still, I refuse to believe that they would lose so easily. How? What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? <laughs> Why? How could something like this even exist? I just don't understand. I just don't. To be able to do something like that, is it because they really are the murderous fiend? What was in your video, Hifumi? Um, so it would seem. Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of Lucy the Reaver. Hear the Reaver, speak the Reaver. I don't think that's how it works. What was in your video, Taka? I saw... Sorry, it's going to take me some more time to figure out how to put it into words. Hey Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but... What the heck? What, what the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie, it has to be. <laughs> Alright, let's go see about Saika. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far, I should check around the school. Um. Where'd Saika run off to? Anyway, that video is pretty convincing, I almost thought it was real. Because, I mean... But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but... If it was real... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, and that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not going to tell mm. you, no way, hell no, no way in hell. You? You're just acting all nice so we'll tell you what uh, what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it, how the hell did they get footage of that? Try and find Sayaka. Oh, she's in here. Oh my god, she looks petrified. I found her in the corner of one of the empty classrooms. She was sitting in the chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, uh, what, did, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such horrible things to us? Why? I want out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it, those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, 
people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everybody. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I know I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me! Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto! You're the only one I can trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Uh, of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. That smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she'd been before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Come on! Do you even have to ask? Yes. yes. Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! Just a minute! No, no, I want to join in! Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Ah, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. My prestige, you're right. Stuffing! My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushingly right out. I balled up my fist, took him, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go of everything I had. Ah! Are you okay? Mm. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! But boy, are you slow, so, 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 so slow. Yeah. I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took for you to finish the swing. Ah! Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um. What the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um. Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Manakuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we'd just created. Sayaka and I headed to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You look, like, you look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now, on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? But what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the Mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? Hmm. I just want to get out of here. But I couldn't ever kill someone. 
Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Night time's about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry. I'm really sorry to have come by so late. Psyker? Psyker, what are you doing else so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. <laughs> something weird? Lakota. Just a little while ago, I was laying down on my in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So, so what happened? After a while it just stopped. I let some time go by and then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Lakota. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You, you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during night time. But, but that's just the promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... But then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All I said in the, all I said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is... you know... Ah! Oh jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... No, I know, me either, but... It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But, uh, I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case, then... Hmm, <clears throat> This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Mm. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're going to trade rooms, you better trade keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say we, you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way onto her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys and when I looked back and looked at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um... Makoto? Please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just to let you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, lift up on the door whilst you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Um... Okay, but the showers don't work during night time anyway, right? 
I don't know if that's right, I totally forgot. Totally <laughs> forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Psyche. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before, hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Psyche gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's no one here. Making sure no one was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Psyche stepped on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. It's kind of weird to dig through someone else's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. Bats! There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD which had a name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in their video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Surveillance camera. It makes sense that there'd be one in here. My room came with a toolkit. Cyrus has a sewing kit, just like the note said. Next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Saiyaka would like me snipping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself into Saiyaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Saiyaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? It's sort of like that, we've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbours, corrupt cops, truck drivers or pyromanics. You don't even have to worry about the ozone layer or asthmatic inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't even have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Saika's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello Makoto and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey Makoto! Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered the model high schools. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo! Sorry! Sorry I'm late, my makeup just wouldn't it just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well. My apologies, hello. ladies and gentlemen. My morning guard uh, duty took a little longer than usual. We were the type we're the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. 
And finally the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? Was it so awful to be late? Yo! I didn't ever sleep, you know. Nope, got lost. I play in the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh. Yeah, Saika and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Saika in the model high schooler category. For her to be so late. What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Saika? <laughs> Why would I? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I needed to go. I have to check on her. The words have barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I had first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka, Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe, but over the course of one night, her room had been completely transformed. What the hell? This is the replica, the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It has been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so there must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. There are slashes and gouges on the walls and the floor. More importantly, where's Sayaka? I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realise that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and burned itself into my brain. And then... And then... Everything went black. This is our first murder. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I seen someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? Yeah. Now's not the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You're unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well... It's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Uh, oh. um. Hey, hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw... It was real? Hm. That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Psyker is. If Psyker is. Just give up! You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Psyker is completely, completely and irreplaceably dead. No, I have to see it for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do if I'm just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realised she was really... She really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then, why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma told us all to come here. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without a reason. Correct. We don't need to make ourselves... We don't, we don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should, why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I will absolutely not be... I will absolutely not interfere. I can promise you... I can promise you... I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But... Ben, who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka. Don't be stupid, Vats. Wah -wah? Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a, get a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when all this began? <laughs> One of you decided to kill Saiga so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a, co a combination of fear, suspension, and confusion. Uh, um. Are you serious? What? What someone, is this? Someone killed someone. <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on! Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's... cause... <laughs> naive. You're all just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey! You're super Come naive. On now! Hellishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, 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 no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six, the school regulations. If you were the blackened who's committed the murder, you cannot be found out by the other students. That is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not, it's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you have to you, have, you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. A class trial? Mm. Yep. It will begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And then and they and the spot machines will engage in a one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote! If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? 
Hmm. Oh well, to put it simply. What? It's execution. Yeah. Execution? What? And by execution you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, so, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well What done. a smart little champ chimpanzee you are. What are you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it? So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or inquisition type of thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. So judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make it make sure to keep it in mind. Hey! Wait, wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? Freaking insane, you know that? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying that you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blast from me. What the hell are you talking what? about? Punishment? Hmm. I might... I don't know, throw you in a deep dark scary prison or something? Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want, I'm not going to be part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish. Stop it! You're the one being selfish, kill whoever you want, it's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> the evil standing here before me, I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick, out, stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. I thought it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, Godly Spear Gunnier! <laughs> this wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What? What the? I don't. Oh, this can't be real. Oh. Yeah! Well now. Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a cut from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah! But I guess you all need to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment where someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they had seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey! Um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. She just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the initial end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die you really didn't really die. Ah! 
This is reality. Why? Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you were put in a prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? What? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Manukuma. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you all to help in your search for the blackened. Ta -da! This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it... It's the Manukuma file! Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do as much as you can So in... So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and the cause of death. <laughs> What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you may ask? Because <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I've got to see it all go down. So then... Wait, so then. You know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgement during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make a proper, a proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind the investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up with the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that I've gotten to her. Hey. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is to lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result of having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not to trust is of course up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you anyone who can't adapt will die? Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to unwillingly to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you will only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially what's after, after what's just happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no other choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that state sentiment. But we usually get like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we don't have we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I know I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey! In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. 
<laughs> well, no, we can't just leave them there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you were in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. <laughs> what? Fuck you. So then. Fine. Then I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way there'll be no problem. Mm -hmm. You play a co-op based defense with the two of them with their stats. They're totally OP. <laughs> Since we won't be able to help with the investigation, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Anyway... We're going to find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. I gently placed my hand on Junko's dead lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like we do in the movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After all those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead? And that means... What? That means everything that happened so far was real? It's not a it's not a joke or whatever. It's really real. Let me Hell out no. of here! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just just accepting that. Hey, Fubu. Uh... Consciousness has crashed. We're starting now. Please wait a moment. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. What should I do? Someone got right in front of a spade. <laughs> let me out of here! Come on, man, let me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. <sighs> we can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me! Screw that piece of shit there. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Hmm? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the monochroma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Did you say anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! Huh? She's right? <laughs> then could it be... All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You, you expect heck? us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a minute earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should all split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect those clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come into the final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Eventually... I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. If that Kyoko hurried out of the gym, goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like that Kyoko, he was gone before we even realised it. Yo! Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is right here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They'd better not let me find them. I'll slip the trial. I'll skip. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull and myself. I'm serious. I'll fuck them off. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway! We don't really have to do anything in particular. We, we already know who killed Sayaka. 
What are you implying? This is very it's suspicious. You. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> D don't come any clo closer. Are you going to kill me next? So, um... well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto is guilty of it. Um... That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I w wanted to, I couldn't help in investigate. Uh... Wait, why not? I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I, I guess I better get going. But wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still had been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got this all wrong. Why did he have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is to find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. 